Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Over the past year or so, me and my partner have been focusing on bringing in and growing our side hustle income to earn that little bit extra cash. And I'm actually quite proud of how things are turning out. At present, our side hustle gigs include renting out a room on Airbnb, currently five star reviews all round, renting out a driveway, income from this YouTube channel, and recently I've just signed on with a gym to teach as a Zumba instructor for two lessons per week. So as you can see, we have quite a few things going on and this is all managed while still having a day job. But one question we kept asking ourselves was, what should we do with the income from a tax perspective? Do we have to declare this to HMRC? And how do we even declare it? So many questions and not many answers. And this will be the focus of today's video. Now this is going to be a tax focused video and I should say that I am no tax expert and this is purely for educational purposes. So please do seek out professional advice with your tax related queries. I'm Kozan from Financial Madness, helping you be better with your money. Before we get into the video, my channel recently hit 2000 subscribers and I just want to take a moment to say how hugely thankful for the support and appreciation for the work that I do here on YouTube. I absolutely love what I do here and seeing the growth and reading your comments just makes it all worth it. So thank you again and back to the video. First off, let us focus on if you need to declare any additional income you make. And the answer to this is yes, but only if you earn above a certain amount. Now it is important to note that everyone in the UK has a personal income allowance, which at the time of this video stands at 12,570 per tax year. Now, as this video is talking about additional incomes, we're going to assume you are already earning more than this allowance through your regular day job, for example. However, if you aren't earning more than this, then please note that these allowances that I'll mention shortly will only come into play once you begin to generate income more than the personal allowance threshold. Okay, with that said, there are two types of allowances that are relevant in most situations, and these are in fact relevant to my situation too. So the first one is something called the trading allowance. Now this is an allowance of up to £1,000 per tax year for individuals with trading income from self-employment, casual services, for example, like babysitting, gardening, or Zumba instructing, as well as hiring personal equipment. If your annual gross income from these is £1,000 or less, then you don't need to declare it to HMRC, and this is known as full relief. Even if you don't declare anything, you should definitely keep a record and proof of your income just in case it's ever called into question. Examples of records you may need are copies of your invoices, a spreadsheet of your income receipts, emails confirming income has received, statements from the company who paid you, which show the amount you received, bank statements, bank deposits, a diary of appointment bookings showing your income from each customer. Now going through my list of side hustle incomes, this allowance will take into account the income earned from Zumba and YouTube. So if the total of these incomes is a penny over £1,000, then I would have to declare these earnings to HMRC through a self-assessment tax return. And I will be subject to income tax on any earnings above the £1,000 allowance. This is known as partial relief. Failure to report or accurately report these to HMRC can result in hefty fines and investigations. If you aren't sure what a self-assessment tax return is, it's essentially a document individuals have to fill out yearly to declare any income that isn't obtained through their regular employment method. I will do a video on what this is and how to fill it out shortly, so if you want to stay tuned in for that, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Please remember that any side income from any amount of sources is cumulative. So this £1,000 isn't an allowance for each side hustle. So if I earn £500 a year from Zumba, £600 from YouTube, HMRC will see this as a gross earnings of £1,100, which is above the threshold and therefore it would need to be declared. The next allowance is the property allowance. This is another allowance of up to £1,000 a tax year for individuals earning income from their land or property. So just like the trading allowance, only if you earn more than this allowance from land or property rentals, then only then do you need to declare it. If you earn less than that, then you don't need to do anything. But again, you should most definitely keep a record of your proof of incomes for good bookkeeping. So going through my list of side hustle incomes, this is inclusive of any earnings I get from Airbnb and my driveway rental. So if the total of these incomes is a penny over 1,000 pounds of the property allowance threshold, 
then I would need to declare these earnings to HMRC through a self-assessment tax return. However, it isn't necessarily that straightforward as there are a few nuances that you should take into account with the property allowance. The first one is if you own a property jointly with another, such as a spouse or civil partner, you can each claim this 1,000 property allowance. And this will be worked out by how you split the rental income. So for example, if you and your partner earn 1,800 pounds from rental income a year, but you have agreed a 50-50 split, that means you are both earning 900 pounds each, which is less than your individual 1,000 pound allowance. And therefore you do not need to declare this to HMRC, nor are you subject to tax. The second nuance is that there is another allowance you should be aware of if you rent out a room in your property. And that is the rent a room scheme, which allows you to earn up to £7,500 per tax year when you let out a furnished accommodation in your own home. If you want to learn more about this, then check out my video earlier on the subject. So although this is a lot more than the £1,000 property allowance, the rent a room scheme is only applicable if you are a resident landlord, which means you have someone renting a room whilst you live there too, or you run a bed and breakfast or guest house. So going back to my example, this will only encompass my Airbnb income because I rent a room out in this exact property that I live in. If I was renting a room in a second home which I let out, then this scheme doesn't apply. The scheme also doesn't take into account my driveway rental, whereas the property allowance does. Now the property allowance and the rent of room scheme cannot be used against the same income, with the key phrase here being same income. So this means if the income qualifies the conditions of a rent a room scheme, then you cannot use the property allowance against the same thing. If you get multiple rental incomes and they are from more than one property, you can use the rent a room scheme, for example, on the rental earnings from property one and the property allowance towards rental earnings from property two. In my example, I can use the rent a room scheme against my Airbnb, meaning if I earn above £7,500, I will have to pay tax accordingly but I can use the property allowance against the income that I generate from renting out my driveway. If I earn above the 1,000 pound threshold, I will again be taxed accordingly. Hopefully that hasn't made things too confusing, but if it has, pause the video now where I'll illustrate all the schemes and what counts and what doesn't count. Now, once you have summed up all of your incomes and it's under each of these allowances, then great, you don't have to do anything. However, if you are over, then you will have to fill out a self-assessment tax return. Now, as I've already mentioned, I will cover how to do this in a separate video. But one thing to point out is if you've never done self-assessment before, then you do need to register with HMLC by the 5th of October following the end of the tax year in which you've had the income. Otherwise, you may face a penalty. So, for example, if you need to declare income from this tax year, which is currently 2022 and 2023, you need to have registered with HMRC by the 5th of October 2023. I will put a link in the description box down below where you can find out more information on self-assessment and how to register. Once you have filled out the form, HMRC will calculate your tax bill and then it should be in accordance with whatever the income tax bans are at that point in time. Cool, so that is it for this week's video. If you do have any questions, be sure to drop it in the description box down below. Also, if you have found this video really useful, I would appreciate if you smash that like button and be sure to subscribe for my future content. See you later. Bye.